Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome yet to another After Effects tutorial and another Titles tutorial for you today. So today we're going to be focusing on The Thing. John Carpenter's The Thing has a very iconic uh, opening sequence. Uh, this is a selection of videos or tutorials, shall I say, based around some of the most iconic titles in film history. And I'm going to be trying to do some tutorials to show you how they're done or get as close to the original as possible. So if we have a look, I'm just going to slide a picture over very, very quickly. This is what the opening sequence, this is a still, shall I say, from the opening sequence where this just comes on the screen a little bit like this. <laughs> So that is the opening sequence and that is what we're going to be trying to create today. So I'm going to create a new project. Um, let's go and create a new composition. Let's make it about 10 seconds long. Uh, we'll keep it 1080p. Click OK. So we've got our composite done. Now we're going to um, type some text. So I'm going to have caps on and I'm going to type the thing. And we're going to make some modifications uh, to this text before we do any uh, effects to it. So I'm just going to uh, have a look through and see what we've got. Um, trying to remember. Okay, we're going to use Bradley Hand. Okay, and we're going to uh, scale that up. Uh, not too big. Um, we're just going to take our caps off and just basically put it into position and we're just going to play around with this text for a minute to get it uh, looking pretty sweet so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the top text um, and I'm just going to reduce it down and I'm just going to put my cursor at the start and just press enter to sort of bring it along to about there and then we're going to make the T larger uh, so we'll just, just scale the T up a bit um, and we're going to do the same thing with the first T um, because the first T is actually bigger um, the uh, actual titles uh, than the original then we're just going to tilt it uh, to one side like so and that's basically um, the beginning uh, of our titles which is very very cool now we're going to go to our effects panel um, and we're just going to roughen up the edges by typing in rough uh, oh let's spell that right uh, rough edges and we're simply going to drop that on top of our text like so um this is basically what this is going to do is make the text uh look rough so i'm if i scale this up you can see that the text is uh creating a really nice um scaling or, or dissolving effect like there is in the film so we're going to keep that at naught percent i'm going to go to about so about 20 frames entirely up to what you do i'm going to click the stopwatch i want to bring that back to the beginning of the comp and then i'm just going to push this up oh wrong one i'm going to push this up until it's about to sort of go off the screen not all the way to about there so if we uh Sort of bring that forward as you can see we've got the text appearing um quite nicely there uh but we need to add some um effects to this guys uh to make it look really really cool so we are going to add um a cc light ray uh, or a light burst shall i say let's drop that on top of our text as well that's going to give us the very very cool uh uh, light burst effect. So let's just uh, render that through very, very quickly. Let's see how we're getting on with that. So 
see that's coming up quite nice so let's just go to the end of the text where the text finishes so about there uh, let's trim our comp down so we don't have a large comp uh, trim comp to work area and we've got it all within uh, that composition like so so let's just bring it up so we can see our text um, and let's just change the color of our text so we're going to keep it to fade let's set color um, and let's make it um, like a sort of dark well that's too much let's bring that down a bit so it's like a uh, and maybe just bring this up just to touch just to make it a bit darker yeah that don't look too bad okay so that's not too bad at all so if we just play this back now or try and round preview this um, it may take a bit of time to render through as you can see we've got the uh, light ray short of popping out and uh, we're just gonna make some tweaks uh, to this light ray uh, just to get it a little bit more uh, better. So let's just bring the intensity up a bit and let's just bring the length of the rays up. Just to touch, so this is sort of longer. Let's bring the intensity back down actually to about 410, I would say. Uh, don't worry, we can play around with the colors uh, in a second and I'll show you how we actually do that. Now, we need another effect to this, okay? So we're gonna go to uh, uh, a CT light sweep we're going to drop that on top as well and what that's going to do guys is basically going to give you some really nice light uh, coming through so we're just going to make that the anchor point um, and let's just select it to smooth um, and let's just bring the intensity uh, up we're just going to play around with the edge intensity as well until we see uh, something going on now when I move this dial you can see that the light passes through it and it's going to give us that really lovely um, thing look. So we're going to go a bit forward here, maybe a bit more, just as the title's coming up. And don't worry, we're going to play around with this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit the stopwatch um, on this bit, on the direction. I'm going to go to the end of the text and we're just going to bring this around uh, just a bit like so now you can have it um, any way you want you can have the direction the way you want but then once that's done all right yeah I'm just gonna render this through so we've got a uh, clean render so all in real time uh, for you guys this is quite an intense uh, effect because you lose it you're using quite a few light rays and things like that but as you can see as that comes on that light just goes around and we're just going to play around uh, in a second with the overall look um, of the comp so let's just go to the comp so we can actually see it and let's just play around with our color so maybe punch the color up uh, maybe a little bit more so it's a bit more blue like so and then with our um swipe we can go to a point where it's it's like really shiny and we can play around with the uh, thickness of it so we can just bring the thickness down so it's not too too much uh, thick let's just click that and go to a white scene in it and let's see how that looks now let's bring about a white actually so let's just go up to a white like so and let's just bring it forward right okay so let's get our edge sharpness and just punch edge sharpness up and this is just going to allow us to see our text uh, just a little bit better that's looking pretty pretty good and basically what I did as well is I added a noise because it is an old film so we're just going to go down to grain uh, noise and color and drop the noise on top of the text and let's bring the noise amount up to say 10. So as you can see, we've got that lovely um, sort of noise uh, look. Now I have got a picture, so I'm gonna import that. And I usually do this in Premiere Pro, um, and you can do this in Premiere Pro to edit all up. And I will add this picture uh, in the description below for you. 
Um, so I'm going to drop that below. I'm just going to hit S on the keyboard and just scale that up there. And that is uh, basically it. Um, this is basically how easy it is to create the thing um, opening sequence um, in After Effects. So very, very, very cool effect indeed. This bit here, I edited it all in Premiere Pro, so I made this uh, fade in, uh, so on and so on. Um, so you can do that yourself if you want. If you do want me to show you how I actually cut this bit in, uh, leave a message in the description below um, and I'll try and get that done for you. So as you can see, that is looking pretty sweet. Now, it's too fast, so you can um, speed ramp it if you want. So you can basically get your text, go to layer, let's go to time, time stretch, and we're just going to add 200 to that. And what that's going to do, guys, is going to make your animation longer. So basically, it lasts on the screen for a little bit longer uh, than normal. So it's not too quick and it's not too, um, you know, too fast for you. So let's just uh, run preview that and play that back, as you can see. Now what you're going to do is see it's going off the screen now. So what we're going to do is going to go to composite, uh, composition, composition settings. And we're just going to change this to 10 seconds, like so. Um, and as you can see here, we've basically extended our animation. So we're just going to bring this all the way to the end, like so. We're going to bring the bottom all the way to the end, like so. And what that's going to do for you guys is that that's going to allow you to extend the actual length of your animation. Um, to the correct sequence of the actual score um there is some playing around obviously with the um the light rays as you can see there they don't look too it looks good but uh, more can more can be done to uh play around with the actual uh look of it so we can bring the intensity down if we wanted uh maybe a bit out let's 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 go 50. Uh, let's go a bit more actually. Let's go 150 for intensity. See that that looks bad. Let's go 250 actually be cheeky. Um, and basically what you're doing guys is just playing around with the actual overall uh, look of the rough edges, the CC light burst and CC uh, light sweep. So pretty, pretty um, effective uh, effect. Now you can add noise to this if you want as well. So we can drop some noise. Uh, to the background to give it that 1980s look, shall I say? So let's just select this. Um, let's go back to my uh, effects window, wherever that's gone. So let's just don't know what's happening here. Effects controller. So let's go and open up. Did we drop that effect on top? Maybe we didn't. Let's drop that effect back on top. I do apologize. And put that up to 10. Now, maybe that's a little bit harsh, actually, guys. Let's go to 5 on the board. So it's basically what that's going to do is give you that really lovely um, 80s look um, to your composition. So as always, guys, if you have enjoyed this title tutorial, a like rating would definitely, definitely be appreciated. And if you want to see more cool tutorials like this, remember, guys, hit that subscribe button. Uh, just down below yeah um, and as always uh, thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for watching and as always I will definitely catch you in the next video ciao ciao